Good morning, Gatsby. We gotta get up and going because today, are we gonna get a snake? There's Zamper and Idoline's in the back. Hi! Today we headed over to Berkeley, California to visit the East Bay Vivarium. It's actually very famous and a place that sells, educates, and boards all kinds of reptiles. This is where our friend Lucas works. I brought Gatsby along to see what his reaction is to meeting all these different animals. Uh, watch out, Gatsby. He's like, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the same the species ones. as the big one that's walking around. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Gatsby's eyes. He was much more interested in the small African spurred tortoise than the large one. Oh. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh. It's moving. What is that? The rock is moving. So this is Lucas's favorite, an Asian water monitor. What's her name? Sporty Spice. <laughs> Sporty <laughs> Spice? <laughs> like what in the world? <laughs> there you go. Ah. Okay, I can feel the, the nails. The nails, definitely. <laughs> you can be like Britney Spears. <laughs> so Sambert's goal was actually to touch every single animal in the store. He got to touch the horned Jackson chameleon and rhino iguanas. Have you seen that? Okay. Dragon water monitor? My name is Offset. Where's Offset? That's a huge gecko. It's actually pretty neat too because like their feet can stick to almost any surface and they use electron current. Like it's, what? It's electricity, not stickiness. Do you see that Gatsby? He does. Oh, like, oh my gosh. He's like, <laughs> I want to see. Oh. Meet Lemon Drop. That's Lemon Drop. Is that the Lemon Drop's poop? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so big. <laughs> Isn't that big? It looks like human. No, human poop is not that big. <laughs> And then it was off to the snakes. Uh, this is an Australian olive python. Gatsby, do you see it? No. He sees the other snake. Yeah. He's looking at the other snake. <laughs> Gatsby's like, uh... <laughs> so I'm not really afraid of snakes, so I decided to try holding this one. Oh man. <laughs> Sunfire genetic stripe reticulated python. I don't even know what that means. So this is a green tree python. Idolin is like, Leaning backward, like, oh no. <laughs> Look at that snake's face. It's like, I want to eat you. So, this is a jungle carpet python. Sambert continued touching every single snake out there. <laughs> I don't know, it's like, no, thank you. So, this is the largest native snake on the North American continent. I trust him more than any other animal in the store. And because he said that, I was like, okay, I'll try holding it then. It was very cold. <laughs> Gatsby's like, don't look directly at it. What's the matter with you? He's like, Dad, what? It's your new roommate, Gatsby. <laughs> <laughs> Getting braver. <laughs> oh, look, he's moving. Are you sure? Are you sure? No. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want. I don't want anything to do with it. So my biggest fear is frogs and to toads. Oh really? Toads. <laughs> oh no. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'll zoom in. I'll stay like from a distance. Ew. You wanna touch it? No. 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 Oh my gosh. Ugh. Wow. No. No, thank you. I don't. No. Gatsby, don't kiss it. <laughs> It'll turn into a prince. <laughs> Look at his arms. He's just like, what up? Look at that face. Look at him. Oh wow. Gatsby's like, I wanna see. <laughs> he got the rat. Oh man, that's a big rat. Oh man. And with that, we were done. We want to thank Lucas so much for showing us around. That was so much fun. You're like the only corgi who has experienced so many reptiles. The snake's like, hey Gatsby, what are you doing? I've been having this song stuck in my head for quite a while now and I thought I would play it for you guys on the ukulele and have you guys guess what song it is. So in the comments below, write down what song it is. Who sings it? I'm sure you know it. Here we go.
Sean texted me and he's already here. So we're gonna grab some boba, guys. There he is, there's Sean. Boba, <laughs> guys. I think he put my name down as John, but. Oh, I John. I didn't want to correct him. <laughs> he got a caramel matcha latte. Looks good. I got a black sesame latte. Yours just looks like an Oreo shake even more now. <laughs> it's good if you like black sesame. It's like pure matcha. No caramel? No. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Gatsby, you're destroying your tennis balls. Look at Gatsby has destroyed like almost all the tennis balls in the apartment. I went to Target and got new ones because Anthony Gully, one of our viewers, sent us a gift card to Target and I was like, well I better get Gatsby some tennis balls with that. Look at that. Do you know what that is? <gasps> He's like, oh my gosh! What are you gonna do? Ah. Who do you think will catch the most tennis balls? Gatsby, me, or Sean? But you gotta back up. Back up, back up, back up. Back up. <laughs> It's pretty scary, right? It's, I'm super close, I feel scared. <laughs> play Big Brain Academy on the Nintendo Switch. It's gonna be a rematch since um, I lost last time. I but thought you won. No, you won! Oh. So Sean is going first. Here it goes. Smallest. Ooh. Second largest. Come on, Sean. You got it. You got it. it doesn't have a tail. Oh, yes. that's tough. The plant has no wings. Fourth smallest. What? That wasn't the fourth one. Pineapple? Oh no, no, that means the largest. Oh. Doesn't lay eggs. <laughs> that dirty doesn't lay eggs. There's an eight legs. Oh, no, it's a spider. It has a tail. Okay, another one. Lays eggs. I did, what like, did you do, Sean? What was your there's score? There's like no time to think. Oh, 327. You practiced. <laughs> I, I played it one time. <laughs> largest. Okay, animal. From slowest to fastest? Slow. Ah. Wow, that was a tough one. Second fastest. That one? Okay. Doesn't have gills. Wait. It, uh, what? Does it have gills? Grows underground. What? Bird. Okay. Has wheels. Okay. Uses an engine. This uh, got so much harder. Did you pick a harder level? No. Wow! High score! High score. <laughs> wow! Bye, Sean. See ya. Is it time for Quirky Crunch? Oh. Right now, I am shipping out all of the merchandise from CorgiOnFleet.com. We have an order from Katie and Chris for a puzzle. They were asking which one was the most difficult puzzle. I would either say it's the fruit fantasy puzzle or the new shop puzzle. This is our most popular puzzle, the fruit fantasy puzzle. We got Ryan's puzzle tips and thank you note. Next we have Uke from Helsinki, Finland who made an order. What? Hello to everyone in Finland. Surprisingly do get quite a few orders to people in Finland. That's so wonderful to know that you guys in Finland enjoy our videos. Uke ordered the card, signature inside. I think I have like 10 left. They also ordered the calendar. Thank you. The card. I'm 
Filling out the customs forms, we're gonna print up the label. Ta -da! Fonda from San Diego ordered like every single keychain that we have. Swimming one, ramen one, the kite one, balloon one, the ukulele one, the reversible, the butt one, and a lanyard. A lot of keychains. Stick this on the scale to weigh it. Then we print out the label. Isabella from Queensland, Australia ordered the embroidered sweatshirt. Amy from Houston, Texas ordered this marble tie-dye. And the blue NFC t-shirt. Our newest item is our puzzles that are in stock. We also have our Japanese Corgi on Fleek pocket t-shirts over here. So if you want to grab something and support Gatsby and me, make sure to go to corgionfleek.com at the end of the vlog. Yeah! Wow. Good boy! Look at this amount of toys that I'm just like laying on. Even with this giant amount of toys, this is what he wants to play with. This is like his favorite toy. This is all he wants. This is all he wants. Go! I'm gonna be heading to the gym in a few minutes. I also have an eye appointment today. I've been like squinting a lot, like trying to read things, and I think that means it's time for me to get my eyes checked. This is my buddy Jesus. We're gonna hit some chess today. <laughs> Welcome back to Chess Day. In the previous Chess Day, I shared some tips about focusing on elbows rather than moving your arms in order to activate the chest. Today, I wanted to go over activating different parts of the chest. It's important to hit chest from every angle. Incline chest exercises hit the upper portion of the chest. Squeezing with arms lower hits lower chest. Over here, I'm hitting mid chest with my hands coming together mid chest. Notice how I squeeze my chest when my hands come together. Although it looks like we're doing the same motion on different machines, it actually activates different areas of the chest. Just changing the location where your hands come together will change which part of the chest you hit. You can also raise or lower the seat. Okay, we are done with the workout. It's actually pretty hot today, but these past few days have been so cold in the Bay Area. The other day, it actually hailed while I was coming out of the gym. You guys, it's hailing outside right now. I'm gonna drop off the shipments at the post office and then go to the Asian market and then we'll head back home. Oh, we got something from Nick and Holly. This is so random, but I'm obsessed with Hamilton even before discovering your vlog and I saw this poster and had to get it for you. <laughs> Awesome, wow, <laughs> I like it. Thanks Holly and Nick. Okay, and now it's time for us to head over to the Asian market. Look at this $5 Fuji apple. If you guys remember, I used to review all the instant ramen. Well, I was interested in this Maruchan gold ramen that came out after my review. And so I thought we would try it out. Ooh, look at this, boxed fish from Patagonia, the clothing company. I thought we would try that out. We grabbed some Japanese spinach, ramen toppings, and golden yolk eggs. I stopped by the drink section and look at this, Coca-Cola from Hokkaido, but it's original taste. Okay, we did it. So we're gonna have some ramen for dinner today. I'm excited, I haven't had ramen in a while. Alexa, I'm home. I'm happy in the back. The dog is free. So one of our fans sent this to us. We're finally gonna open it. Gatsby, what do you think? What do you want? You want this one? Since you met your weight goal, you can have some of this. Hold on, Gatsby. He's like a jumping jack. He's like, please, sir, please, 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 please. Oh my gosh, <laughs> he stole that from me. We got our protein shake going here. Uh, I'm using oat milk this time instead of almond milk. The oat milk is a little bit too sweet. And then we're using almond butter here. I usually drink this twice a day. <laughs> I'm headed over to get my eyes checked now. So it turns out that my vision did not get that much worse. But the thing that did change is my astigmatism. That just means that your eye is not 100% smooth. And that is what's causing me to like have a really hard time seeing. My eye became more and more, way more bumpy. At least my eyesight, I'm not like losing my vision. Wow, good boy. We are gonna make this Maruchan 
gold ramen. We'll see if it's any good. I have both spicy miso and soy sauce. I'm gonna try both. Patagonia wild pink salmon inside. I haven't made ramen in a while. See, look, there's a ramen right there. Komatsuna, which is Japanese spinach. So I'm gonna cook it first, and then I'll cut the stem off for guests. I'm gonna put in some cold water. So the egg will cook for six and a half minutes. Hey, Corgi. Oh, you wanna try some? It's spinach stems, Japanese spinach. Oh, he, he just left. Do you like it? You want another one? <laughs> I also have those ramen bowls that I received for Christmas. I received it from Lauren and Ruth. We can use these. I'm gonna do the soy sauce one in this bowl and the spicy miso in this bowl. So it just comes with the soup. That's pretty much it. The noodles are the same for both. Ta -da! I also bought this, which is kind of like a ramen topping pack, and it was just cheaper because I didn't need to buy each individual ingredient. Let's check out what this looks like. Wild pink salmon is fully cooked and ready to eat. Fish of the future! Oh, it looks pretty good. I think that's like the perfect size for ramen. It's good. It's super salty because it's like smoked. Ooh! Ta da! Oh my gosh! Egg perfection. Here it is. Soy sauce ramen, the spicy miso ramen with our Patagonia wild pink salmon. I'm excited, I haven't had ramen in so long. When was the last time you guys had ramen? Let's see how good this gold ramen is. I'm kind of surprised. It's not even sweet at all. It's a little bit bitter. Before I make my decision, let's try this other one. The spicy miso one is better. It definitely doesn't taste like instant ramen broth. I'll give them that. There's more depth of flavor, but does it taste like a restaurant quality broth? No. Let's try the salmon with it. Mm. It matches. That Patagonia salmon, oh. It was seasoned to perfection, it wasn't fishy, and it tasted really good. I would say the Momo-san uh, chicken ramen or the Tonkotsu ramen is better and that is more of like a premium one. I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. It is pretty good. Okay, so after dinner, after I eat usually around like 7 p.m., Gatsby's already like, it's time for me to go to bed. <laughs> He does this every night. He just goes by himself to hit the office and then just goes into his bed and goes to sleep. Where's the corgi? Is he already sleeping? He's already sleeping! Hey guys, I caught all the Pokemon, so now I get to battle Arceus. <gasps> oh! Woo! Everyone got a smile for the family picture. It only took me 51 hours hours. Before we go to bed, I want to give a shout out to one of the people who used the secret word in the last vlog. Carla Marie who wrote, The Gatsby face is just pure happiness. When I watch these videos, I feel like Gatsby is my buddy. Yay! <laughs> and so today's secret word to let me know that you got to the end of the vlog, hide the word brave in your comments somewhere. I sent pictures of the snakes that I touched to all my friends and I'm like, wow, you were pretty brave for that. Other than that though, please make sure to click the like button. Oh, and check out our merchandise at corgionfleet.com. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. I am so excited. I have never had Jollibee in my entire life. And today, I'm gonna be trying and ranking 